Welcome to day two of having full gold status as a DoorDash Dash. I'm online. It's about 4 p.m. here on a Thursday in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I just want gold status offers. Obviously, those are the highest paying offers in your market, but last shift, I saw a high paying offer that was a $5.75, paying $5.75 as a high paying offer. So, Will I do better today? Man, all that work to get gold status, 70% acceptance rate. And this is what I get. 350 for, you bet, Dollar General Shop and Deliver. It's one item. Now, you may be noticing, Mike, you're driving somewhere. Where are you driving to? I accepted it. Mm-hmm. 350, I would never, ever accept this if I was cherry picking. The only reason I accepted this, you got it, is to maintain that 70%. I'm at 72 right now before the shift. All right, I just did another shop and deliver. It was pretty simple, but let me show you a great example of ones that you would want to decline. Perfect example here. This Target, it's only one item, but it's quoted to take almost an hour. Now, it's $17, so imagine if it does take an hour. It says like, yeah, like 50 minutes here. $17 in an hour, which in and of itself isn't that great, but 15.2 miles, so it's just over a dollar a mile, and you're gonna get $17 an hour. You're doing all this driving there. That's not worth it. That is why, if you're gonna have Dash Rewards, or even if not, you know, these are the ones you want to decline because it's going to be both. Like take a lot of time, not pay enough, and the dollars to mile isn't enough. Both of them. Let me show you the shop that I did though. $5, <laughs> which is, yeah, it's the lowest offer I've ever seen on Dasher Rewards. This is a gold offer. This is a high paying offer. No, it's not. Remove that tag for high paying offer. I would never say that's a high paying offer. And again, it seems like DoorDash is just calculating that on the dollars to mile ratio. Like, yeah, look, it pays over $2 a mile and it does. Again, I just took it because of acceptance rate stuff. I get it though. It's not all bad, but like I mentioned on my last shift, this is pushing you to the volume strategy that to make 25 plus, you'd have to do five of these an hour, but you can because this is only quoted to take, yeah, like 15, 17 minutes. So you can do possibly four or five an hour. It's just like more little shops. Do you really want to do that? It wouldn't have been the worst just to keep the AR, but I declined this and dropped down to 72%. So let's see if that was worth it, if I can actually get a gold status, high paying offer. Well, it was getting hot in that car, even with the windows down, I wanted to use the AC and move, so I accepted this dinky order record for new lowest high paying offer. That is a 475, 1.2 mile gold status order for a six item shop back at the Dollar General. I feel like I'm the only one in the area that's available for this Dollar General, apparently. I was picking up on this on the last shift. Like, there's been no other program that I can think of really in the gig economy that is so pressing you to, yeah, it's the acceptance rate, pressing you on orders. You don't have to, okay? It's not mandatory technically, which is like the tricky part of this, but if you want priority, then you're gonna have to keep accepting. Next. $3.50, 1.4 miles, uh-uh, no, 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 decline that one. All I'm gonna say is that last one, it took me a minute and 52 seconds of shop time, and look, convenience is nice, we all like convenience. The delivery destination was across the street in that area. Okay, I'm not gonna, I can't say the exact address, DoorDash, but it was a, it was like within the surrounding block, we'll say. And just now, a high paying offer, $6.25, 1.4 miles, quoted for 16 minutes. Let's take this one, I guess. Aldi, it's only two items. Because yeah, here's what I'm noticing, that the margin's good, because DoorDash has said prior, it's two plus dollars a mile for high paying offers. But again, the cash flow's where it struggles a little bit. Like at the end of the day, my dollars to mile has been strong ish but then there's a sacrifice on the earnings per hour i kind of feel like i mean i want both to be frank with you i want both i want and probably so do you good pay per hour so i'm not wasting my time making like 16 dollars an hour 
and then good payout per mile so I'm not wasting my vehicle running it into the ground, driving more miles and not getting a lot of pay for that expenditure. But we're just getting started here. Place your guesses. What is the hourly gonna be? What is the pay per mile gonna be? I've been sitting around like 175 and 19 to 18 dollars an hour on these uh dash of reward shifts all right i get a second here aldi shop and deliver two items refrigerated juice i literally drove two minutes up the road again easy convenience done uh <laughs> has it all been shop and delivered today it feels like it am i the only dasher that like has an active red card because everyone else is like yeah i'm not giving you guys a red card i don't want a red card because i don't want to do shop and deliver i mean i could do that but i feel like i need to test the full you know dasher app for you and the full app includes unfortunately most likely unfortunately this red card for shop and deliver all right folks you better believe it we got an actual decently paying 10 plus dollar gold status order. It is 11.50, 3.7 miles, seems pretty good. And it is a shop and deliver. It's always shop and deliver. Why wouldn't it be a shop and deliver? For three items at PetSmart, knock on wood, I've never had a problem there. Three items seems easy enough. It's always a shop and deliver. I feel like today I'm just running around like crazy. Like it's not that bad, but it's like short shop and deliver, short. Short, so you're like, I'm done, new one, done, new one. I mean, I'd do it if it paid on a minimum like 650. These four, five, 550 high paying offers, they're not high paying offers to me. But at least I should have a pretty decent dollars to mile ratio, but I'm betting right now my hourly is like 16. Let's just all relax though, just enjoy the sunshine on my nine minute, 1.9 1 mile delivery. Hold on, just kidding, I forgot, they sent me a add-on order plus four dollars 0.3 miles and i got what i asked for just a restaurant here szechuan gourmet now i noticed on my last shift a new feature well new wish you know like people have been noticing it for the past year depending on market i just saw this though where it offered to pay you an extra dollar just to take a picture of the menu at the restaurant now here's a good example of when i can't do it when you probably can't do it so the associate standing at the register i say order for so and so it's already ready and they hand it to you it was a chinese food restaurant and the only way to take a picture of the menu that was sitting on the counter was to like take the menu it's like a little book menu open it and start taking pictures of it so it's up to you if it's not like super awkward i'll do it but if it's right in front of the associate and they're like why are you taking a picture of our menu I don't know. I had to charge my mic there. I took a risk. I declined this one $5. I declined this one $6. I wanted a high paying offer. That last one brought me down to 71%. And then finally, I got this one $750 gold status. That's actually a decent gold status. Single restaurant drop. Howley, three miles, which I just picked up. That place is uh, usually busy and it was ready, which is a bonus. When can you be picky on gold whatever silver platinum because if you have a buffer that buffer is there for a reason so you can go back to like cherry picking being picky and picking the highest margins because ideally you and i just want high paying offers that's like the whole premise here is we want as many high paying offers as possible honestly i mean the ratio of like good orders which we'll define as two plus dollars a mile high paying offers the ratio doesn't seem that different. It still seems like I'm getting a decent amount of the same amount of orders. So in my second full gold dasher shift, going for platinum, I guess, which is kind of difficult. It's harder than I thought because you need 100 deliveries in the last 30 days and those last days are always falling off. So that's another way that they keep you driving basically. Assuming this is my last delivery, I might squeeze in one more, but let's look at the numbers here. I think the dollars to mile is gonna be good, if not stellar. I'm looking at the mileage right now, it's like nothing. But then the dollars per hour, it's not gonna be as good. What does that kind of mean? It means your cash flow, the overall pay you're getting, clearly per hour is down. The, time, the money that you're getting per hour in my experience so far on Dash Rewards, it seems like it's down. But with any new program, I mean, 
I want to make and you want to make at least the same amount of money as prior to that new program, if not always more money. So with all this verbiage and high paying offers and to do all this effort for acceptance rate or getting enough deliveries every 30 days and it's on a rolling basis now is not at the end of the month for all of this. Can you imagine all these fancy names and features and app colors and this and that to make less money? right? Is that what it comes down to? So I'm going to guess the hourly is, oh, I think it might even be lower than my prior guess. I think it's like 15 an hour on this shift, if not 1450, but then the dollars to mile is going to be like 187. I'm guessing, eh, waited a little bit there. Not much was coming through after that last one, but I did get a gold status order. That's pretty decent. It's $9 75 cents. 2.1 miles, a single item shop and deliver, because of course, John Eagle.